Now, moving on, we've just built a website. We've, we've used HTML to display information. We've used CSS to make it look nice. And then we use JavaScript to make it you know, more interactive and more dynamic and more interesting. Now you've got this website. And what we want to do is we want to, to publish it. We want to put it on the web. And what do I mean by publishing? Well, you've got this website and you access it on your computer by going to the sort of file URL um, thing. And if I gave this link to somebody else on a different computer, it won't work. They won't be able to see what I see in front of me. What I want to be able to do is go to a website, you know, like hackersatcambridge.com, share that with anybody and let them access it. So publishing is a step that we take to take a website and, you know, put it on the world for everybody to see. Now there are heaps and heaps of ways to do this. And I'm going to explore just one of them. And I'm going to be using a tool called Netlify. Um, and Netlify is a very, very simple tool for publishing websites. Now, I, uh, so now what you want to do is uh, log in and you should see a dashboard kind of like this. Here are some websites I prepared earlier. Uh, you'll see that those are the, the results of me trying to upload things, but it's, it's dead simple to, to get your website online. What you do is you, you find your website in wherever it is, you grab the folder and you just drag it in. It sits there and uploads it and that's it. I'm given a link, I can click on it, and my website's online. Easy as that. Uh, I don't really like this, this name, this relaxed Borg, so I can go into settings and I can change the site name. Um, for example, I've already got Web Design Tips, so I'm going to change it to Web Design Tips 2. And as easy as that. Uh, you, can, you can add, um, add more code, upload, uh, if, you, if you want to make changes, you can, you can re-upload some code. It's as easy as that. And then you can share and distribute your website. It's, uh, it's really quite simple. Now, if you want to do something slightly more sophisticated, like set up a custom domain, domain name, and when we say hackers at cambridge.com, for example, that's a domain name rather than webdesigntips.netlify.com, if I wanted webdesigntips.com, you can set up a custom domain. And there are instructions on how to do that in here. Word of warning, though, you will have to buy a domain name if you want to do something like that. So you have to, you have to spend real money to do it. But if you're, if you're passionate about your website and you want to give it a proper, proper name in the world, that's how you do it. So, you know, making websites is as easy as that. All right, so I have a simple task for you now, and that is uh, publish your website using Netlify. So we've just figured out how to publish a website and, you know, going through all the bits and pieces, you can have something like this in front of you with a, with a URL that you can give to other people and get them to open your website. And, and have a look at it and there's features that, that you do lots of bits and pieces. It looks nice, you're using all the features, HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, and that's great. And you know, at the end of the day, you now have a website. And now you can you know, go and explore all those different further reading topics under you know, different JavaScript things that you can do, different CSS things that you can do, and you can start building the next state-of-the-art website. There are tutorials uh, abound uh, online that you can look at and, you know, and take the next steps.